A Trader Joe's issue and topic was a real touchy one, but it was actually a turning point. And this was one of those opportunities that gave the African-American community the opportunity to come together, build a construct, uh, create an environment that would allow people to understand how these projects work and how they come together. And that's probably, to me, one of the biggest upsides that this situation gave. It gave us the opportunity to see that we're capable of handling our own destiny. We asked Rock and, um, to provide um, the project management for the development and maintenance of two public murals that would be installed on the National Grocers Building. The whole uh, displacement of people and along with that, their histories. We thought it was important that this, this art installation be through the lens or the vision of a black artist. Uh, you know, I, mom's the word. You go in and see R.V. Smith's work, you go. Huh. You're not sure how to feel. I grew up in the South, in Jim Crow South, um, and I, with my grandmother, grandfather, and my great-grandmother, who was born a slave, I talked with the community about, what do you want to see in this mural? They said, um, we want something beautiful, we want something that's hopeful, and I, I want to tell the truth about the neighborhood. The jazz in Portland, all these people came from the South and they brought the music with them. Just below the, um, the jazz musicians, people coming out of Vanport, which for me is the metaphor, a part of the metaphor for the uphill climb the blacks had to make in order to survive here in Portland. It's always been an uphill climb. I have the man pointing toward a flag. That flag says, still we rise. And I'm referencing a point by Mia Angelou, still I rise. It's a hopeful, determined voice. Well, I really find it, it's the artist's point of view to be so valuable to have. I mean, that's what the public art process is about. I, uh, Keeping that front and center. Yeah. The next one comes in, and he's younger, right? I mean, his art seems to be all over the place, but it's good. He said, you know, you better eat your veggies, but I, instead of eat your, I, I couldn't even spell it, I was too tired. And then I made a joke, I was like, I'm gonna make that my street name, and it stuck. This design, um, it's around an area and it kind of targets uh, gentrification that's going on. And uh, it wanted to get, pay uh, homage to the um, African-American neighborhood that was in the area. In the other murals, like a voice to be thankful for, and stuff, you, you depict things that deal with civil rights, you depict things that deal with uh, the tragic things of the past uh, in African-American history. And for me, I wanted to try to think of something past that and make it to where when you have the books in the mural, it is having all of that knowledge and that knowledge will strengthen you to jump past the knowledge of the pain and be something stronger in the future. They're so intricate, both of their murals, that you ask questions and I think that's really important for Portland's history. We don't necessarily always have to be the expert. We're there to facilitate the conversation, but not control the process. And that when you allow creativity and innovation and, and when everyone is flexible, you can create some great outcomes. 